Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. Today is June 18th, 2024, and I have a few messages for you. First, today was the first RTC meeting, Retired Teacher Chapter meeting. It was the last meeting of the year uh, as school is letting out, and it is the first time in the history of the United Federation of Teachers that a caucus other than the Unity Caucus will be leading the retired teacher chapter since its inception. This is huge. And for those teachers that listened to the RTC meeting today and you heard Randy Weingarten speak, um, I wanna give you a message because I heard the conversation. And I want to let you know that for those of you that are following us, you know that we've been fighting this fight for three years. We have two litigation firms. We have a lot of information. We have a lot of evidence. We have promises that were made to us that were codified in affidavits from deputy mayors and commissioners and retirees all over the city of New York. We proved our case nine times in court and before two courts of appeals with unanimous decisions. If Randy Weingarten says she wants to protect Medicare on a national level, well then damn it, we'll stand with her. But if the United Federation of Teachers and the AFT with Randy Weingarten wants to protect Medicare, then they should start at home. We had a city council bill that the UFT came out against. We had a state bill that they came out against. You want to protect Medicare? You want to protect a retiree's benefit from being diminished? You do it at home first. That's my message to the UFT. Randy, Michael, you got my phone number and you have my email. You want to align on this? I'll be there in a heartbeat with bells on. But to listen to you say you want to come out with a national agenda to protect Medicare, sweetheart, there is one. It's been around for years. And guess what? The retirees took 100 retirees down to the Capitol last July on this very issue. And we stood with Ro Kahana and Elizabeth Warren and Rosa DeLauro, Mark Pocan. It, we have been on the national stage. Where have you been? We have been protecting Medicare. We are protecting Social Security. We are carrying the resolutions that the United Federation of Teachers passed and the AF and asked me have passed and the AFL have passed for decades. Except you guys lost your way. And it took an uprising of retirees to tell our unions, come back home. We did that. Retirees did that. We didn't lose our focus, Randy, Michael, Henry, Harry. We've been focused. You gave us hugs and a plaque and said, happy retirement, sail into the sunset. But decades later, you made us turn that ship come home. We did this. You honor the retirees. You respect the commitments that were made to them, or you yourselves will be responsible for destroying the labor movement that we built. We did this. I'm glad you heard them. Your retiree chapter has been screaming for you, and it's not fear, my dear. We had facts on our side. We did that. We put our case together. We didn't fan the fury of, of fear mongering. The fact of the matter is our retirees kept saying to you, which fell on deaf ears, that our doctors and hospitals around the country were not taking the plan that you were telling us was better. You did that. And then some of the unions you know who you are, lied to the legislators that you represent retirees and we collectively bargain. And the bills we were trying to pass, like Intro 1099 in the city council and Assembly 7866 and Senate 8388 in the state would take away your collective bargaining or impair our benefits or ability to bargain. 
You all lied. You lied to them. You lied to us. So I'm going to say this, Randy and Michael and Tom, the retired teacher chapter, outgoing, Randy AFT, Michael Mulgrew, the union president of the UFT, if you truly want us to believe and put our faith and trust in your union leadership, then you will get behind our bill because they're coming back on the city and the state level. And you will do that real soon because they're coming back real soon. I'm not waiting for a national level. We don't have time for that because someone else is going to try to keep doing what, what you guys have started. It's time. Tell us right now that you will get behind local legislation on the city and state level that will protect retiree benefits. And I look forward to having that conversation with you. And that is a unity I could tell you we will stand with. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great summer. We're going to be here still every week. You can listen to me every morning on WBAI. You can listen to me every night on our Facebook page. And you know how to find us every other day of the week. <laughs> I love you guys. Keep the faith and be union proud because we are reminding our leaders the right way to be union and the promises that were made to us should be promises that were kept. God bless everyone.